from VOA Learning English, this is the Economics Report. New research shows that getting wealthier does not always make a nation healthier. Subhu Subramanian is a professor at the Harvard School of Public Health in Massachusetts. He says many people believe that economic growth is the best way to improve child health in developing countries. But he says that is not always true. Take India, for example. A common measure of a country's economic health is gross domestic product or GDP. India's GDP has been growing by more than 5% a year. That is a higher growth rate than most Western countries. Yet, more than two-fifths of Indian children are underweight. And Subhu Subramanian says the percentage of underweight children has changed little since the 1990s. He and other researchers asked a question. Was economic growth failing to reach children in other countries? They looked at health surveys carried out since 1990 in 36 low- and middle-income countries. The researchers compared the effect of GDP growth and signs of child malnutrition, but they found only a small link. The group reported their findings in the journal Lancet Global Health. Subhu Subramanian says money should be spent on clean water, child immunization campaigns, and other programs. The head of the Institute of Development Studies, Lawrence Haddad, disagrees. He says malnutrition has dropped sharply over the past 20 years in countries like Vietnam, Ghana, or Brazil. Lawrence Haddad says economic growth was responsible for half of those declines. He says it takes both GDP growth and the right investments to improve child nutrition. For VOA Learning English, I'm Laurel Bowman.